Hi everyone, GE Appliances is hosting a contest search looking for the great American grandma. Someone that knows recipes right off the top of her head and loves cooking for her family, but maybe somebody that's not so traditional that you might throw a twist in there. So today my twist is I'm cooking for my fur baby. Let me tell you a little bit about my family. I have four children, six grandchildren, and one wonderfully spoiled fur baby. So today we're going to make peanut butter pumpkin dog biscuits. These are so easy to whip up and just throw in the oven while your other dinner is cooking. And then your, your fur baby gets a wonderful treat as well. So let's get started. First I have three cups of whole wheat flour. I'm just going to put it in the kitchen aid. Then I have two eggs. These are fresh eggs from a friend of mine. Then I have a half a cup of pumpkin. This is pumpkin that my husband grew for me. We have a large farm out here and he grows almost all the vegetables that we eat. And I can them during the year, and then we get to enjoy them the rest of the, the time. I don't have to go to the grocery store as much. Then it's a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And then two cups of peanut butter. You can use crunchy. You can use smooth. doesn't matter. They're still going to enjoy it. Okay, let's whip these up right quick. Doesn't take long, and I'll be right back with you. Hi, I'm back. I've got my dough completely combined. It's going to be a very stiff dough. You can actually roll this out and use cookie cutters with it, but I'm taking a shortcut and using my cookie scoop. And then I will flatten these out, just like the traditional uh, peanut butter cookie that you make, that you have the little crisscross design in the top with a fork. You don't have to put a crisscross design in these, but if you want to, that's fine. We don't normally give her a whole cookie. We flatten them out. It makes it easier to break for us. So let me get this finished. As you can see, it's really stiff, but it's so easy to work with. And while you're cooking dinner for your family, um, just have these mixed up and throw them in the oven after you cook dinner. And then when they're almost done, I turn the oven off and let them continue to dry out in the oven. I like them pretty flat. Otherwise, they take too long to bake. And really, you just want the egg cooked in it and the flour. But these are going to be just wonderful when they're done. And they're perfectly safe for human consumption. They're not going to be sweet, but in a pinch you might want one. Okay, I'm almost done. This recipe makes about three dozen of these dog biscuits. And it'll last you a long time. Well, depending on how much you like to treat your fur baby. If it's like us, they don't last quite as long as I would like them to. Okay, they're ready. See, they're oddly shaped. I just mashed them out. I used chunky peanut butter in mine. Um, that's what we had. That's what we like to eat. So that's what I had in the cabinet. You can add honey to this. Um, you can add just about anything you want, really. As long as you have the basic flour, the eggs for the binding, the salt and cinnamon are just for a little extra flavor, and the pumpkin is the moisture along with the eggs. I'm back. I wanted to show you what the finished product looks like. I'm just going to put them in her little treat jar, and I wanted to show you the snap. You hear that? They dried out beautifully, and she absolutely adores these cookies. And why not treat your fur baby? You love her just as much as you would your one of your family members. So give her a treat. Try making some of these. 
and good luck to all the other great American grandmas out there. Bye now.